Hey crew, I've got the key to this 21 Carbon Autoworks BMW M8 competition. We are gonna take it for a drive on some fantastic roads, but first let's check out how it looks on the inside and outside. Now this is mostly gonna look like your standard M8 competition coupe, but with some subtle tweaks, I'll point them out to you. First of all, if you look in through this grill, you'll see the upgraded heat exchangers and intercooler, so important for cooling off this 4.4 liter twin turbo V8, because with the carbon tune on 100 octane fuel, this vehicle is cranking out 882 horsepower to the crank. It's insane. BMW LED laser lights are here on tap. We got the carbon fiber details, part of the M8 competition package. This vehicle is painted in Barcelona blue metallic, which looks awesome, especially with those gold carbon ceramic brakes that we've got here. 20 inch forge line alloy wheels are an upgrade from Carbon. They're wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, some of the most aggressive street compound tires you can find. 295 section front, 305 section in the rear, more carbon fiber, more carbon fiber, and more carbon fiber. Stepping back, looking at that GT slope and roof line. It's got menace, it's got power, but you have no idea how much. Because <laughs> even here at the rear, there's not much to give away that it's a carbon car. All you've got is this badge right here. Because the subtle trunk lip spoiler in carbon fiber and the diffuser in carbon fiber and the quad exhaust ports in black, that's all standard M8 competition stuff. Which, again, looks great, but you have no idea. Let's go look at the interior. Opening up and looking inside, you've got this beautiful black and mid-rand merino leather. Mid-rand is the color they call this wheat here. Mid-rand accents, seat inserts, contrast stitched. You've got Alcantara here on the inner parts of the bolsters. These seats are heated and ventilated. Got the same mid-rand color in this quilted pattern on the doors. Upgraded Bowers and Wilkins sound system looks awesome. Contrast stitch down here, and this is in leather. Let's go pop open that trunk. We have some car care kits. It's not super big, but you can fold down the seats by pulling on these levers. Let's hop in. Actually, I'm gonna show you the back seats. Pull this lever and we'll power slide forward. Revealing that same beautiful color combination in the back. Look at this. Cool thing even in the door inserts in the back. I'll climb back here, which isn't that easy. And pull back the seat. Oh, my head definitely doesn't clear. I'm like at this crazy angle. Mm, yeah, and to not crush my legs, the seat had to stop and go forward a bit. So that's not my full drive position at six feet tall and still my knees don't clear. Really beautiful back here with that Bowers and Wilkins sound system. No center console to come down, no cup holders, nothing really for these back passengers. This is just for kids or uh, stuff in a pinch. Seats go for, ooh, this is all in leather though. Appreciate that. And oh, getting out of here is not gonna be easy. Oh, definitely almost fell on my face. Seat goes back, we'll hop inside. Leather wrap steering wheel with this tri-color contrast stitch that's also on the seat belts. Love that. Got your M1 and M2 controls. These are your customizable controls. Digital instrument cluster, wide screen infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Climate control is gonna be in there. Ooh, look at all this carbon fiber. Got your wireless smartphone charging in there. This tri-color contrast stitched M selector for your transmission. Open this up. Yeah, I can fit a big bottle. Contrast stitched, all leather. Just beautiful with the Alcantara headliner. No sunroof, but you know what? It's looking good. Let's go drive it. Let's get cooking. Nice meaty exhaust noise from the 4.4 liter twin turbo V8s. Carbon does not mess with the exhaust system, but I don't think they needed to. Sounds really good. I'll start my navigation here because I don't know this area super well. So Steve Dynan's crew already set up a route for me and calibrated the M1 and M2 buttons for that route to extract the most performance from this car. So we will be starting in M2 mode because that's for the Canyon Roads. And yeah, we're starting with Canyon Roads. 
M dynamic mode is on, meaning the stability control system is still active, but it's letting you play with it a bit. We're in sport engine mode, sport plus chassis, sport steering, and comfort brakes. When I click this over to drive, we'll also be in manual mode, which I won't need immediately, but it's fun to have. And we're gonna do an impromptu turning radius test here. I know this is not gonna clear, but we're gonna try. How close will we get? Uh, not that far off. That was pretty good. High quality backup camera. Do we wanna hear horn test too, just for fun? Let's do it. That sounds about right. That sounds about $130,000 starting price for the M8 competition, right? Now let's talk you through what's part of the Carbon Auto Works GT package for the M8 competition. So you get the power pack, which includes a software upgrade that Steve Dine had worked on for a year and a half. And if you don't know Steve Dine, you don't know the fact that he had several different tuning companies before this, including Dyna Performance. He's got 40 years of experience tuning BMW vehicles. So when he spends a year and a half working on a software upgrade, that means a lot. You also get an upgraded air filter, upgraded intercoolers and heat exchangers that I mentioned, and then he turns his attention to the suspension system. So we get adjustable coilovers, adjustable anti-roll bars, high performance suspension bearings, negative camber control arms, and different camber adjustments. Thoroughly vetted this suspension. Did not touch the brakes, because I don't think they needed to, even for the extra power that we've got on tap here. I don't think it needed to because the carbon ceramics that BMW offers from the factory are so solid that they can handle the additional power this car is putting out. How much power? Well, as part of, as part of that performance pack, you get a three bar sensor that automatically just fine tunes the engine calibration based on the fuel that you put in. It just knows. So if you put in 91 octane fuel, it knows it's gonna give you, I think it's like high sevens in horsepower. 93, you got low eights and 100 octane that we have in this vehicle right here, 884 horsepower. That's compared to the standard M8 competitions, 617. A healthy, healthy dose more power here. 795 pound-feet of torque. Oh my gosh, it's so much power. But how is the vehicle as a full package? Is it just power? Is it just straight line acceleration? And is it something you have to worry about? Because, I mean, you have that performance, but that's not from the factory. Is that something you have to worry about? I don't think so, because Steve Dynan, with all his years of experience, has also put his name on a warranty for this vehicle. So if anything goes wrong, you take it to the BMW dealership and they say, hey, this is that, that software upgrade that you did. That's what caused the problem. Steve Dynan will ship his car, your car out to him, and he'll fix it himself. And I would, I would trust him doing that. But now it's time to talk performance. <laughs> Mercy. Holy cow. That is <laughs> That's brutal acceleration. Absolutely monstrous. Oh, and you know what? At this stop sign, I want to do a launch. Because 0 to 60, car and driver got the regular MA competition to 60 in two and a half seconds. What is this vehicle gonna do? Let's find out. All right, foot hard on the brake. Launch control active, let go. Holy cow. <laughs> My brain is over processing right now. I can't. 
that was a little bit of an uphill too. And that was what? At that probably two and a half seconds with an uphill. Now the tires deserve some real credit here for that too. The Cup 2s are astonishingly good. The grip you have, it just doesn't end. Even with this much power, the track width that we have, the rubber section that we have, you just feel like a hero in corners. Now part of what makes you feel so comfortable doing these things are those brakes that I mentioned earlier. They're so strong. They can scrub insane acceleration numbers like it's nothing. And then the suspension helps the car feel so planted in the corners. It doesn't wiggle. There's no roll. It's just incredibly stable. And this car isn't all about the tightest little corners. It's more like big sweepers, but it can do this stuff all day. My mouth is gaping open right now, really. This is a full package here, guys. And add to that, kind of just the baseline great MA competition goodies. This steer rack is really finely tuned. The weight is perfect, the turn in is sharp. And this gearbox is phenomenal. The shifts are lightning fast. The brakes aren't just strong too, it's the pedal feel. You get a great sense, great confidence, slowing the car down. And you can trail brake it really easily because it's modular. Throttle tip in is nice. Mod you know what's so shocking about this? Is that it really just feels like the MA competition consistent here, right? Like consistent line, just at an upward angle. So like all of the thorough engineering that you feel like comes from a factory BMW M8 is here. It's just more potent. I, I'm kind of floored that it just, it feels so natural. And when you look at a spec sheet or hear about an aftermarket tuned BMW, I don't think natural performance would enter your vocabulary at all. That is not something you would ever think of. Yet that's what we're dealing with here. It's so smooth and it's so progressive and so easy to access that ridiculous performance that I just experienced that natural kind of just fits. And now that we're entering more streety stuff, I'm gonna go into M1. And that's gonna soften up the ride just a bit, putting us in sport chassis. So this is kind of like what you're gonna deal with on a daily basis. And I, I mean, again, you, you'd never really know you had this amount of performance and neither would anyone around you, unless you put your foot all the way down because this is just so easy to drive now. It just moseys down the road. The ride quality is good, totally solid. I mean, it feels firm, but then again, the standard M8 competition felt firm. It does, does not feel in any way any more tightly sprung than the regular M8 competition. Even on lower profile tires, I'm not hearing any more road noise than normal. Obviously, wind noise is going to be the exact same. The engine still hums along sweetly in the background. I mean, it's, it's a daily driver. Yeah, it's a carbon. Yeah, it's a carbon. It's something different. He knew somehow. But no one else would. Because it's just a, it's a daily driver M8 that will dust, no, not just, it will absolutely obliterate 
pretty much anything else on the road. And if it sounds to you like I've already kind of come to conclusions about this vehicle this quick into a drive impressions, uh, it's because I've been driving this vehicle around for three hours now, filming my POB test drive, and then after that, my POB Canyon drive. And so I know, I know this car is really, really solid. It's solid around town like a BMW M8, and then it is just a whole different animal of performance as we saw on those Canyon roads. I do want to get on the freeway here so I can show you just a couple pulls which are going to demonstrate the raw thrust and how great this 8-speed automatic gearbox just is. Let's go to M2 now. I'm also going to hit the M mode sport. So now I got the tack right there in the center and hit it. It's just effortless. It's so effortless for this car. That kind of motivation is the most absurd supercar levels right there. And here it is in an MA competition, a vehicle that starts at 130 grand with these wheels, with the suspension, with the power pack, it's 156 now, so it's like 23 grand of upcharge. 23 grand for this kind of absurdity. I, I mean that that floors me. That absolutely throws me back. I can't believe that. All right, I'm I'm done acting like a child. I mean, for right now. I'll do it later, obviously. But I want to stick it out of M mode. Nope. All right. There we go. Out of M mode. To its most cushy, comfortable settings. And let's just recap here for a sec. So you have the daily driver accessibility of an MA competition. The performance of an MA competition dialed up by like 40, 50 percent for 23 grand. And I mean, the fact that it's not just any old tuner here, this is Steve Dynan who's worked on these cars for all these years. I trust this. Man, I wish I was rich. <sighs> all right, well, I hope you guys have enjoyed these POV drive impressions and I'll see you again next time.